finally the weekend is here. And this isn't just any old weekend. This is the weekend SpongeBob and Patrick go camping. Wouldn't it be great if they got lost in the woods and never came back? Patrick, I'm scared. Oh, that would be great. You've waited a long time for this. A soft bed, warm tea, a good book, and two whole days with no... <laughs> what the... SpongeBob, aren't you two supposed to be camping? We are camping. SpongeBob, it's not camping if you're ten feet from your house. No, oh, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you're outdoors. While all those soft city folk are safe in their beds reading books, we're out here pitting ourselves against the formidable forces of nature. You want to join us? No. Okay, have fun inside. <laughs> what do you mean, have fun inside? Just have fun inside. See you tomorrow. Oh, bye. <gasps> you little sneak. I see what you're doing. What? Don't think I can't see what you're doing. What? You're saying I can't take it. But all I... I... You're saying I'm soft. You think your little have fun inside challenge is going to make me come camping with you. But that is never going to happen. There's no way I'm going to sit out here all night with you two losers. So get used to it. Okay. Have fun inside. That's it. I'm in. I'll show you camping. Squidward's gonna come camping with us. <laughs> now you'll see how a real outdoorsman does it. Here we are, my remote controlled self assembling tent. Watch and learn. <laughs> That was great, Squidward. But how do you get inside? Yeah, it's all crushy looking. It isn't put up yet, you idiots. Customization! Genius! He's tenderizing the ground! Of course! Write that down, write that down! <laughs> Voila! <laughs> but what could compare to just lying out under the stars? <laughs> well, I've worked up an appetite as big as all outdoors. Time for a little grub. I suppose you two are gonna stew up some twigs and rocks, right? Uh, nope. We got something even better. Marshmallows. <laughs> just like the astronauts eat. Patrick the SpongeBob, Patrick the SpongeBob, do you read me? Over. SpongeBob to Patrick, I read you. Over. Patrick the SpongeBob, I like going. Over. SpongeBob to Patrick, me too. <laughs> SpongeBob to Patrick, help yourself. Over. Yummy! Patrick to SpongeBob, the deliciousness has landed! Well, you two astronauts can eat marshmallows. I'm gonna have a can of Swedish barnacle balls just as soon as I can get my can opener. But Squidward, didn't you take a can opener when you hiked out here? Why would I bother? We're 10 feet from my house. But this is the wilderness. It just doesn't seem to fit the camping spirit. Pretty weenie. All right, all right. Get me a marshmallow. Besides spitting molten foodstuffs at me, what else do you do for fun? Well, after a long day of camping, it's nice to unwind with a nice, relaxing campfire song. I call this one the Campfire Song Song. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E 
S-O-N-G song And if you don't think that we can sing it faster than you're wrong But it'll help if you just sing along Bum, bum, bum C-A-M-B-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song C-A-M-B-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song And if you don't think that we can sing it faster than you're wrong But it'll help if you just sing along Good! It'll help! It'll help! If you just sing along! Oh, yeah! Ah, now, wasn't that relaxing? No! This is relaxing! <sighs> Squidward! Squidward, are you all right? That's it. Chew, chew, and swallow. There. Better? Better! I was just fine until you launched that ballistic junk food into my windpipe. But I had to. It's too dangerous to play the clarinet badly out here in the wilderness. It might attract a sea bear. A sea bear? You mean like the ones that don't exist? What are you saying? There's no such thing. They're just a myth. Oh, no, Squidward. Sea bears are all too real. It says so in the Bikini Bottom Inquirer. I married a sea bear. Yeah, and think Science Monthly. Sea bears and fairy tales are real? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, maybe it is stupid, but it's also dumb. Patrick's right, Squidward. Sea bears are no laughing matter. Why, once I met this guy who knew 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 this guy's cousin. You're right. I should be more careful. In fact, why don't you tell me all of the things I shouldn't do if I want to keep the sea bears away? Okay, that's easy. First off, don't play the clarinet. Okay, then what? Never wave your flashlight back and forth really fast. Flashlights are their natural prey. You're kidding. Don't stomp around. They take that as a challenge. Yeah. Go on. Don't ever eat cheese. Sliced or cubed? Absolutely. Cubed, sliced is fine. Yeah, yeah, and? Never wear a sombrero. In a goofy fashion. Or clown shoes. Or a hoop skirt. And never. Ever. Ever. Ah! Screech like, like a, a chimpanzee. chimpanzee! Wow, it's amazing how many things can set a sea bear off. They're horrible! And, and suddenly, I have the sense we're all in danger. Why? I don't know. Just a feeling! No. Yes. No. <laughs> Squidward, please don't! <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, what are we gonna do? A sea bear is sure to come and eat us! Don't worry, Patrick. I'll draw us an anti sea bear circle in the dirt. Good thinking! All the experts say it's the only defense against a sea bear attack. <laughs> you guys are so gullible. See? I did everything that attracts a sea bear, and nothing happened. If sea bears really exist, why didn't one show up? Maybe it's because you're not wearing your sombrero in a goofy fashion. Oh, pff, sorry. How silly of me. You mean like this? <laughs> no, like that. Are you okay? No. Quick, jump inside our anti-sea bear circle before he comes back. Yeah, sea bears often attack more than once. Are you crazy? A dirt circle won't stop that monster. I'm running for my life. No! <laughs> Don't run. Sea bears hate that. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll just live home then. No! They hate limping more than running. Well, 
I guess I'll just have to... I should have warned you about crawling! What'd I do that time? I don't know, I guess he just doesn't like you! Pretend to be somebody else! Here, draw a circle! Okay! That was an oval! It has to be a circle! Move over! Hey! It worked! You guys saved my life! Hooray! You did! Yeah, I'm glad it was just a sea bear. This circle would never hold back a sea rhinoceros. What attracts them? The sound of a sea bear attack. <laughs> Good thing we're all wearing our anti-sea rhinoceros undergarments. <laughs> right, Squidward? 